So, the exit polls have just been released and they suggest that Labour are on for a majority of 170. If that is the case, then the Conservatives will have done absolutely appallingly, even potentially worse than many predicted that they thought that they would, because there is a big difference between predicting in a very theoretical way and actually seeing the results come up in front of you. The Conservatives will, if these results are to be believed, and exit polls do generally tend to be reasonably accurate, be decimated. Many of the familiar faces of the Conservative Party that we're used to seeing will disappear from Parliament. We were already going to lose quite a few because many had retired or were were planning to retire after this election. But really, we could see some very big names go down tonight if these figures are to be believed. Other things to remember, Labour will be absolutely delighted if these numbers are right, not simply because they've clearly done extremely well, but because for the Labour Party, getting across the line, being able to form a majority government is not a given. There have been a number of examples in the history where they simply haven't been able to do that, even though polls in the run-up to the election have suggested that they might. So they never take these things for granted. They simply can't afford to. Additionally, if these polls are correct, then the Liberal Democrats seem to be on for an extremely good night as well. So Ed Davey and the Liberal Democrats will be delighted with this. Again, the Greens look like they might actually take two, according to the exit polls, which they too will be delighted about. Caroline Lucas has been their sole MP for a number of years and has indicated that she was leaving her Brighton and Hove constituency before this general election, so they'll be delighted if they've managed to get to two. Reform also looked to have done well, although that is a measured well, simply because, depending on whom you listen to about reform, depends on how well well actually means. So I think that they'll be pleased, but perhaps not necessarily as pleased as they might have been, because some within their own party, predicted that they would do extremely well. However, all in all, what we can take from these exit polls is that the Labour Party will win this election, which we already guessed was the case. The Conservatives will be decimated, which, again, we already guessed from this. But it's the scale of it that is really going to be the most telling.